Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hello, our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our uh, short lesson um, in Mathematics N4 and I thought of sharing with you a few uh, techniques when it comes to changing the subject of the formula. Uh, the question that I'm given here it says make D the subject of the formula. I took this, I think it is uh, November 2018 paper and this question um, it was uh, three marks so for these three marks you are supposed to make d d the subject of the formula and as you can see this is your d and you are given this kind of um an equation and we have to remain with d so the question is how can you approach that uh, let me try to make this a little bit bigger so now when we are making D the subject um, of the formula here, the first part uh, we need to uh, recognize is we have this K. So we have to get rid of the K first because uh, with the K, it is affecting um, us to apply the um, some laws of logarithms. So if I can divide everything by K, for example, if I can divide this left hand side by K and I divide the right hand side by K, you can see that I can now make log remain um, alone. So what I'll be having then, it will be log uh, D minus R over R is equal to L over K. So that is how I can as I said, I can make only log remain on one side. And another part that you need to remind yourself is whenever there is a log, the default base here is a log base 10. So if, it, if they don't indicate any base, you must know that you are dealing with base 10. So now how do you simplify that? You have to use, um, if I can just divide this here. Now remember, if you are given, for example, log in base of A of B is equal to X, for you now, um, there is a law which says B, this particular B here is equal to A to the exponent X. So I'm going to use uh, this kind of a law. In this case, I'm going to say my B is D minus r over r this is representing d is equal to uh, 10 to the exponent l over k so that is actually how i can um, get rid of um, the log and then by interchanging or introducing some exponents there and then when i've done that it becomes actually more of um, simpler i have just to uh, make remember making d the subject of the formula i've got a fraction i can multiply uh, the left hand side by r and i can multiply also the right hand side by r when i do that it will then be d minus r is equal to we can say r dot 10 to the exponent L over K. And then finally, if I want to remain with D, 
the r will jump um the equal sign so that i have now my d is equal to from negative the r will become positive so i can start with my r and then say plus r dot 10 to the power l over k i can even go on to factorize the r and say this is equal to r 1 plus 10 to the power l over k so as i said i must make d the subject of the formula so this is how i can simplify uh, this kind of an expression as i said it is using mainly the concept of uh, logarithms and the main kind of a rule that i was using is being able to uh, change from log to an, an exponential equation whereby the a here becomes this base becomes that base there and the b becomes uh, the number there and the x becomes the exponent so you need to know how to change from log to exponents and this is how this question could have been answered i hope this was of benefit to you remember if you want to get more of our videos uh, you can subscribe to our channel or press the like button so that you can be able to receive uh, some notifications when we post some new videos thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you